There's lots of plants that you can use to add color in the garden. You can use crab apples. You can use euonymus that produce beautiful berries. You can even have dogwoods that grow and produce berries. But in some cases, those berries are eaten by the wildlife. Could be birds, could be deer coming at night feeding on the berries. But what you've got here is one of my favorite, easiest to grow plants, known as a deciduous holly and it loses all its leaves. Now, right now it has leaves, but after you have a couple nights of really cold weather, it looks like this. And the great thing about this plant, the deciduous holly, is that the birds won't feed on it till later in the season, maybe sometime in January, or the berries fall to the ground. Uh, this is a plant that you might see growing along the Blue Ridge Parkway in some of the wet or moist areas. Uh, it's a native plant, and so many of these are related to the native plants. You do need both male and females. Remember, this is a holly, just like many of your evergreen hollies. You only need one male plant. There's a male plant here hidden in the garden. It really isn't showy, but you can have this easily in the full sun or bright shade of your garden. I mentioned the word euonymus. Most of you probably had no idea what that was, but the common name is burning bush or even fire bush. And not only does it have its great color when the leaves start to turn purple, but it's filled with berries that the birds love. You know, I mentioned dogwood berries, which are nice and bright, but the birds eat them right away. But here is a different type of dogwood, the red twig dogwood, that gives you interest and color all went along. Now keep in mind, it's not a really large growing plant. It might get anywhere from three to six feet in height. And not only are there red twigged varieties, there's even yellow twig varieties. So you can use some of these plants in your garden to give you that winter interest. American hollies are great in our gardens. They like, you know, bright shade, full sun. This is a variety that is known for its red berries, keeps its leaves year round, and it's called Merry Christmas. And it's just filled with these berries through till sometime in January or February. Again, it's like the sparkle berry. You need both male and female plants. Even though some of the new hollies may not require male plants, I recommend planting them. Again, you plant mostly the female plants and maybe just one male plant that's recommended with the type of holly. But you'll notice here this beautiful plant that looks like cotton candy. And this is the pink flowering Japanese anemone. And it's a ground cover plant, but it gives you this great interest in the winter. I had a hard time finding some crab apples still left on the tree. The birds virtually have eaten all of them. But if you're going to plant crab apples, which I think are great trees for wildlife, you want to make sure you plant disease resistant types. And in five to seven years, they'll start bearing just as you see here. What I've got behind me is another one of my favorite plants, and it's one of the southern magnolias. And not only does it have its great foliage that you can use throughout the year for just garden interest or indoor decorating, but it produces these real interesting seed pods with, as you see, a fruit inside. And again, the birds feed on these. But what you can do is you can take these and you can dry them and you can use them. You can actually wire a pick to them or stick them in your arrangements or use the leaf and the seed pods to improve the decorating of your home. I'm Mark Viette. Join me next time in the garden. For more garden tips, use the internet to click on the In the Garden website. That's inthegardenradio.com.